Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the movie poster making in Photoshop 2021. And here I use lots of things. At first, if I analyze these things, I'm going to the smart object. And at first we'll just discuss about the things what I used in this photo actually. So here, okay. At first, if I go this portion, that means the text, here are the text options and here the footer that means the cast and crews and here is the lights if i turn off and on you'll get the point how i add these things and finally i'll show you how to make this one and here some adjustment the color lookup here's the some fires like these things that means these fires i added lots of layer for the fire like prominential and here some color adjustment actually color correction actually this one and here some spark if i go to these things yeah and here some lights which is appearing according to the fire and here uh, some shadows uh, which is really uh, needed for the dimension creation and here some shadows actually this one is our main hero and the light background light which is making some ambient feel and uh, here the another shadow which is making the realistic things here the shadow under the boots and here the light which is the black and white portion which is making things more easier and here uh, some like wallpapers that's good and here another things and now the background and this one is our hero so i made the couple of images by using manipulation techniques and the composite technique and all the stuffs are just accumulated and made this type of like movie poster so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so going to the file at first and taking new options you can take the uh, like a print version like a4 type or letter type i i'll suggest you to take the letter type and hit the create button sometimes this um, movie poster goes to the uh, like uh, publications that means the press for the printing uh, it will help you out to make the size going to the file and place embedded options from here uh, i'll go to these options i downloaded those photos from unsplash and deviant.com i'll provide you that download link in my video description please check it out okay giving the name the background uh, just resize the layer giving the name bg so these layer naming will help you out to make this one edited in future just because of when you are going to edit your photographs uh, in future it will help you out so this this thing this layer this layer you can recognize the layer which is the name by using this layer name this one is too much effective for your next like editing any kind of uh, modifications so going to the file and uh, like open up at first i'll cut down the hero from the background so here is our background that means the hero so you can cut it out uh, so by using here the selection tool and going to the select subject options in 2021 you are getting this amazing feature uh, like uh, uh, when you are using the select subject in the earlier version you didn't get this one so i will suggest like uh, update your photoshop so some portion just uh, watch carefully some portion could uh, deselect or the necessary portion could uh, lift from the selection it will be carefully and you have to like arrange how to change those things that's good this portion is good and those are nice when you want to deselect press the alter option button it will help you out to do that so you can put more times to more accuracy for the this cut it background or the subject from the background cut okay going to the select and mask options that's fine and here i'll use the uh, like smooth tool the setup will be according to like this you can follow my setup the smooth 44 feather 2.6 and the contrast 18 percent minus 26 for the edge shifting and other steps and going to the drop down menu new layer with the layer mask and hit ok so you're getting the cutting background from the like um, you are separated subject from the background actually so taking this one and putting it in this portion so making this one like that and right press and so that's fine nice and you can save it out for your future using and giving the name and saving it out okay that's fine and now you're some uh, getting some border um, over there 
so going to the selection like rectangle marquee tool and actually select this portion so you can brush or delete you can delete this thing by using brush b from the keyboard and uh, before that you have to make it black and select this mask and remove so you can take the uh, black background uh, for the more promin prominent view so here you'll get the view prominent so we'll remove that ba black background after deleting this uh, area so that's fine be careful don't be remove or don't remove the necessary areas so you can make it zoom and you can remove those things when you drag the brush over here, it could be like deleted that's why going to the selection tool and select and delete actually delete okay that's fine so turn off or delete the black background now you're getting the polished um, like uh, things that's fine now time to add the background and other stuff giving the name movie okay and don't forget to save this one just because of cash clean easier so after that time to add some background going to the place embedded options i downloaded some like this type of photos which is like this right press and flip horizontal actually not these these things you can make it more bigger by pressing press ctrl or command t made, making it bigger like this yeah that's fine and mask it out g from the keyboard and deleting things from here yeah, that's good and you can use some some fox going to the place embedded options here are another images you can merge it out so that's good and you can mask and g from the keyboard for the gradient you can merge these things okay actually these things should be like that yeah that's fine and now i want to make this one black and white go to the adjustment layer and going to the uh, black and white portion so it's making sense that's fine and now i'll add some uh, lights from here taking the new layer and adding some lights like this so we are going to the brush tool and select once making it bigger by pressing alter option button and just select these options and going to the screen mode now you are getting some dimensions from here that's fine and saving this out now time to uh, add some shadows over there that means uh, in the leg portion so this one i will make it uh, apply layer mask so this one and taking new layer downside of these uh, like human figure and like reset the brush by pressing d and b from the keyboard and making the size of the brush smaller yeah that's fine actually you have to make this one like that this one press ctrl or command j so this one will be the shadow and press ctrl or command t so uh, light is coming from the left side so shadow will be the uh, right side so now time to add some shadows uh, i already added the downside of the boot and light is coming from the left side i'll add shadow from uh, like uh, going to the downside and that means the right side light is coming left side the shadow will be right side b from the keyboard and make the opposite down So you got the shadow now dodge and burn process uh, take new layer and going to the options which is the blending options the overlay and right press and create clipping mask and from here going to the edit and going to the fill options and here you'll get the drop down menu making is 50 percent gray that's fine and going to the burn tool if i go to the burn tool the portion will be black And in the dodge burn after doing the dodge burn i'll go to like um, here the light will appear before doing that i have to use the portion which is from the filter and camera filter i'll add some things basic going to the contrast i'll make the contrast level high add some texture brightness should be like that 
the shadow will be like this and the highlight will be down and the blacks will be like that and hit ok yeah that's fine press control command T making it bigger and you can put it from here that's good and now here I'll use the filter uh, later uh, before that I have to use some uh, like fire and other stuff so going to the place embedded options from the file and place embedded and from here uh, the fire you should delete this one you should use only this press ctrl or command j press ctrl or command t yeah that's fine the fire is appearing from the machine guns okay that's good now time to add some colors and other stuff so going to the adjustment and going to the solid color so i'll use little bit bluish type like this and making it soft light yeah making those things like that and going to the color lookup options from here the film stick or foggy night that's not good uh, kodak film me this is nice and eh? making it yeah now going to the file and place embedded options now add some spark the sparks i'll making it the sparks like this going to the normal like a blending mode into a screen that's good and going to the filter and going to the blur option and add some motion blur not too much a little bit motion blur that's fine and now saving this out i'll take the color upper side of this yeah that's fine and here add some another like spark fire spark actually so this making it bigger making it a screen that's fine and saving it out that's good and now i'll select all the things making it group and making it like smart object by pressing right press and convert to smart object i'll apply another effects from the nick collection color effects pro and other stuffs so going to the filter and camera filter at first i'll add like a, which is from the preset i'll provide you that preset that is the poster preset so poster will be like that and hit ok here i'll use the like gradient options the downside okay that's good hit ok and now select this one this one is the poster okay and marking this one red color just because of uh, it will help or recognize you to help that this is the smart object and saving this out and select this poster options uh, that means the layer going to the filter again and going to the nick collection color effects pro from here i'll add another effects lots of preset actually over here actually uh, those are the uh, things which is uh, really help me how to uh, choose the perfect one so from here uh, lots of things actually colorize options you can explore all the stuffs dark and light centers and here you can use all the stuffs the faded options uh, like these type of effects okay fog the like uh, this one is good you can use these things okay that's good and hit the ok button you can explore to add the preset by using that those are amazing actually so here the name will be over there and saving this out and going to the text tool taking the text any kind of text uh, suppose any kind of fire point okay making them into white color that's good and press ctrl or command t making it bigger like that yeah that's good and i'll add the custom crew credit lines 
that is the preset you can use your original cast and previews mm, credit line in the downside of the things so this one is a preset actually i am using this one from the jurassic park actually so taking only this portion controller command j another layer deleting these things and making it a, into occlusion and going to the image adjustment and brightness contrast and making these things contrast like this and hit ok so you're getting the things like that and upper side of all the stuffs going to the uh, like solid color adding another filter going to the soft light and you can choose color which one is perfect for you or in your eyes i don't know actually i think this one is good you have to explore these things and saving it out you are getting the movie poster by using this photoshop and you can use this technique so hope that you learn a lot from this if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and amazing tutorials in next. Today is my signing out and stay safe, stay at home. Keep me in your prayers as well. And bye-bye.